the IE give, give up its monopoly on the on that particular location, and then uh, all various artists and creative people and writers and uh, and film crew all moved in there, and uh, it, it became a base. You know, and it was a base that was very, uh, very highly motivated with various energies. You know, from various aspects of art, from music and uh, and painting and sculpture, and then suddenly uh, into decline, uh, and then into uh, stag nights and hen nights, which obviously for publicans is great, but uh, it's actually not very good for the for the for the locality and the residents who live there. Yeah, and you hope to have this uh, sorted out by next year, is it? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I think I have a secure location to uh, to do my work and keep it in, in a safe space. <coughs> you know, for evaluation and working and reworking, and yet being uh, yet being mobile and motivated to, uh, if necessary, put on shows at, at various points and uh, venues and locations, wherever it's kind of uh, uh, offered whatever space that will be available <coughs> and take it from there and see how, how the uh, how the show would uh, uh, evaporate or uh, evaluate itself evolve into something else morphing is a very is a very art I never liked that word actually you never I never know transforming yes I can take that. Morphing, I think, is definitely uh, a very strong female uh, thing there. More to morphing something. What I could never uh, take to morphing. Mm -hmm. Transforming, transfiguration, transforming. Yes. Morphing. I know it's a very art, a very strong word used in the art world. Yeah. Well, it is in a sense. Ruby, each piece will be morphing. It will be morphing its original clone, but. Taking on its own individual self. I think one thing means to change, isn't it? For, to change from one thing into something different. Did you ever do that, like a drawing, you know, in art school where you do have a drawing project and you start off with one thing, like an apple or whatever, and you end up with something else? Or a bowl of fruit? No. Uh, like an animal or something, you know, and then so you have to do, draw the intermediate stages of you know what the apple is changing into whatever the end result is which is something that people pure maybe or whatever no or no I don't know it's you know yeah. an object like a, a bird or you know yeah. a an apple transforming itself into a bird wow yeah <laughs> morphing more of a bird you know Really weird, yeah. The intermediate ones are very hard. Well, I did, I did an animation once with, with lines. And I just kind of measured an A4 uh, uh, page. Yeah. You know, and to each uh, uh, side, uh, you know, one, uh, one centimetre apart. You know, it took ages. Each, each page went through each line, each individual line, on each individual page. Yeah. You know, continuous for I don't know how long. And then going in the opposite direction where you had, and they end up with a grid system. Yeah. And it, and it, it takes hundreds of pages, A4 size, yeah. and being measured out, yeah. and then each page being photographed, and each yeah. line in which being photographed, yeah. and then you run it for a few seconds. Okay. <laughs> That's incredible. That's an awful lot of work. Yeah, there might have been a super way to do that. Well, I, if you want to do an animation, it has to be done on a gradual process. You have to each item, or whatever it is you're doing, you have to move the coordinates. And each step is recorded, and then you, you begin to uh, visualize the image, that one particular, like a lighter, moving in different directions, taking on its own form, morphing, developing wings, and beginning to fly off, and then eventually turn into whatever. <laughs> What does the light turn into eventually? Uh, uh, you know, it's probably a dead end item with thrown on scrap heap and recycled. Yeah. China? I don't know, I wouldn't be interested in particular Chinese uh, uh, goods, but I think China has a great uh, um, 
uh, system that uh, a person could easily, uh, I suppose you had an idea and you, and you knew somebody who was Chinese or spoke fluent English, for example, you know, and they like your idea, I mean, you know, for whatever, creating textiles or rep reproductions of things. I mean, the Chinese are very good. They have the technology to do that and they have the people power. Well, they certainly have some people's power, don't they? Yeah. Huge population. Huge. Yeah, I mean, Constantine, he was the last emperor, wasn't he? You know. Yes. And, you know, I did after that, yeah. Was he? Yeah, he was. I think he didn't have an heir. Was that the Holy Roman Empire? Part of the Holy Roman Empire, yeah. Mm. And then he got sacked two times and raided and thundered. Okay. Who did the slacking? Well, I don't know, crusaders and, uh, and mercenaries and coming in from uh, parts of Europe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They do well. Well, I think there was a power struggle or something going on between the Pope uh, in Rome and, uh, and, and Constant Constantinople, you know, which is going to be the centre of the Christian world. There was a kind of a power thing, a power struggle going on there, but eventually Constantinople lost. Uh, it was weakened so much uh, over the centuries uh, that the, uh, it was uh, open to, uh, for the East to take over. And, uh, and then that's where the Muslims kind of uh, came in. Uh, 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 Islam, you know, the rise of Islam. You know, and, the, and Islam conquering uh, Constantinople and uh, becoming part of the Islamic Empire. Ottoman Empire. Yeah. Ottoman Empire, so. Now, I've actually seen these balls around, but what do you do with them? Uh, it's rubber bands. It's just a rubber band. You know, if you well, need a rubber, rubber band, you pull off. Oh, all right. It's yeah. just a way of presenting rubber bands. Well, I don't use rubber bands anyway. So you know, no. never. No. Well, I, I, I have one rubber band. I've had it for nearly 10 years, and I've never used it. <laughs> <laughs> One of those rubber bands I have in my toolbox, but I never use it. Yeah. It's just there, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I never use it. Comforting to know that it is there <laughs> in case it needs to be used. No, it is there, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's a pretty toolbox thing that you like to keep and hang on to. Yeah. Now, yeah, but it's a porcelain round ball. And I just, yeah, I just love it. It's just a round porcelain ball. Yeah. And I think they're actually using some sort of a container for crushing uh, peppers. Mm. Yeah, it's just on its own. Sometimes yeah, I put yeah. it into a bowl with yeah. sand, and yeah. you just drop it in, uh -huh. and you get this kind of like a rippling effect. Yeah. <coughs> Sounds good. Yeah, it's my, one of my kind of uh, spiritual kind of uh, objects yeah. you know, I, that I use. Yeah. I wouldn't dare throw it at anybody because I'd probably do a lot of damage. <laughs> But then again, uh, as, a, as a moment of madness, uh, as an art piece, you know, I have a nice mirror kind of set up, you know, and then get this kind of ball and just kind of bring it full force to the air, you yeah. know, and then it's, and record it as it hits off the, uh, the mirror, smashing into smithereens. Well, that sounds like a good visual thing. Well, yeah, I mean, all these things do, they do have, they do have uh, possibilities. I mean, uh, obviously, they're, uh, they're taking out context from their original function, uh, you know, and they're being used as something else. 